we are going to be pushing our project to the GitLab, you know, repository to basically start building and deploying to the Kubernetes cluster. So we're going to start with the front end. Okay, we're going to push the front end to the GitLab repo, build and deploy that to Kubernetes. And then if that is, if that deployed, you know, very well as we expect, then we also deploy the product and we deploy shopping cart. So I'm going to come here and then just commit my changes. Right, so front end hub deployment on Kubernetes. Okay, so we can push that to the repo. All right, so once you push that to the repo, of course, we can click on the repository here. And we can see here that the repository has been triggered. So it's building already. So we can go to build and click on pipeline. Right. And then we can see that the build stage has actually completed. So the build stage is completed. The deploy phase is what is running now. So let's just give that, you know, some time and let's wait. All right. So the deploy phase completed also successfully. So if you click on the de uh, deploy job, you can see that all right, so here we have kubectl, get ports, all right, the namespace, and we see that the two, all right, you know, uh, front-end application actually is running. So we can come here to, all right, our uh, pipeline here, and then we can do, we can go out, first of all, and then do kubectl, all right, get ports, iPhone end. So the namespace that we have access to based on the config file that we're using, all right, is this so we can see that the pod is running? All right, so everything is running as we expected, all right, it to function. All right, so that's actually uh, a very good one. So now, how do we access our application? Like I said, the uh, what we're doing here is beyond, um, you know, we can go into the ingress and load balancer kind of a thing. So we are going to be doing uh, what you call um, a port, port forwarding, actually. So that's what we're going to be doing. Okay, We don't have um, an ingress controller or anything like that. So we can do uh, port forwarding. That's one thing that we can actually um, configure. So what we can do here is, let me just open um, another batch tab here. So we can come here and just basically do kubectl port forward all right okay so what are we forwarding so we're forwarding service so the name of the service is front end all right and the namespace is microservice all right and the port that we're forwarding to is 3000 and then we press enter so that way it has forwarded the port so we can come back here now and basically just do local host 3000 and we can see the application right here all right so we can see the product we can see the shopping cart right now if i click on view okay i mean if i click on view of course it shouldn't respond but normally the application is actually actually crash you know once you click on this it should crash automatically and if you look at what you have, you can see that it says connection refused. And then, of course, we can see some errors right here. But the beauty of Kubernetes is that it's going to restart that port all over again. So now if I do kubectl get ports, all right, in namespace of microservice, all right, so we can see it says restart. I mean, to restart. Okay. And that's the beauty of Kubernetes. I mean, if you were doing this with um, Docker Compose, I mean, the whole container will be stopped and you have to go and manually restart it. Okay. But because of, because Kubernetes is basically intelligent, I mean, it knows that this service should be, should be running. It basically will just restart that port. So instead of the port just, you know, dying and not restarting, Kubernetes will restart that. All right. I mean, if it crashes multiple times, it just keeps restarting until the pod has actually maintained some kind of reach a stable state. Okay, so that's what you can see here. So the restart is two times, and that is why even if I come back in and I refresh my application, all right, 
of course you can access it again because the port forwarding as you know has been terminated because of the restart right so we have to do the port forwarding um, again so now that we have an understanding of what that is so we can go ahead and deploy the other jobs so cd um so that will be product so let's deploy product and let's see uh, what we have and of course we can come back here again and just do um, the forwarding right so keep ctl um, okay is this here or here i'm not too sure okay i think it's here all right so we can come back here again and just do the port forwarding all right so and we can come back i mean you can see that automatically it has refreshed itself okay so that's good so for the product we can come back to product and basically just do git um, add and git commit i think m all right product up you know add it so we can push that also to the pipeline all right i mean it's basically the same configuration the only difference all right is basically the same configuration okay it's the same thing there is no difference between the two because we're using a template all right so that is likely going to fill so you can see here that it says the pipeline field it's because here it is i think ci i think template uh, that is actually the correct name ci i think template is the correct name and this one is build the yarnal so i think that is correct so let's take a look so that is correct there um, any other thing okay so let's check a few other things deployment here all right so i think we're good but of course it failed so we can actually just go and verify why that failed so we can go to the group click on product all right and basically just take a look at this so there was an error so ci underscore template so we've been able to resolve that already so i'm just going to push again so git commit like name all right name rected git push all right so the pipeline should be triggered again um okay so let's go to the pipeline again let's see all right so it's triggered now and it's running okay so the the image is building so once the image has been built it's going to deploy to a kubernetes cluster also again so let's just allow that to do its thing all right so if you look at that also the deploy job completed successfully i mean we already have the front end app running so now we have another backend. So that means if I come here now and I say kubectl get ports. Oops. Oops, sorry. So I need to go back, you know, outside of that uh, particular folder. Okay. So let's try that again here. All right. So I can see here that the product uh, port is running as well. All right, so that means if I come here now and I just maybe click on view, all right, I shouldn't have any kind of crash, okay? You can see that I can access the product, all right, service. But of course, if you click on the shopping cart, it's going to crash and it's going to restart the port again, but that will affect, all right, the port forwarding. So, but here you can see that it's saying handling, you know, connection, all right? So that is good. All right, so let's go ahead and deploy, um, the shopping cart all right so shopping cart so cd into that um cd all right so we need to make some modifications here as well so let's go and see uh for this one so this is ci iphone template all right so that we won't have to come back there again and correct that so we can quickly correct that right now all right so i think that's all we need to do so cd um into shopping cart and then we can do git commit ipnm right shopping cart pipeline config right that and then we can push to the repo 
Okay, so a boost to the red pool. So let's go to the shopping cart project. All right, so that is building as well. And we can go to build, we can click on pipeline, and we can see that the job. All right, that is building. So let's wait and see. So that one failed. So let's find out why it failed. Oops. All right. So I think we have a little challenge here. Okay. And that has to do with the token. So it means that the token that we generated uh, perhaps has some kind of um, expiry, right? So which means after some time, maybe the token expires. Okay. Because I mean, this thing worked just now so what we can do basically is that we can actually um, do something here so we can go we can come here all right so we can come here and let's do cube ctl all right get ports Alright, so you can see that is oops, okay. So let me go out again. I mean let's assume that that's what the problem is. Okay, but now look at what it says. You must be logged into the server, it says unauthorized. So it kind of seems like the token expires maybe after some time. I mean, maybe that's some kind of security measure. I really don't know. Okay, but that's just what I have observed, you know, that after some time your token expires. So what we can do is we can export, all right, just basically log in back as the admin. So we can use the admin config, uh, configuration to log in again. Okay, and then we can basically, all right, generate another token. And that's what, uh, that's what we can do. So we can do kubectl, all right, create token. Okay, so you're creating the token for the GitLab SA, which is the service account, and the namespace is a right, microservice. Okay, so we're generating another token. So we can copy this, all right? We can copy the token, copy that. You can come here to the configuration file, okay? And then we can basically or I just replace all that we have here and then paste the new token that you just generated. So what you can do with this now is to basically copy all of this, all right? And then you can go to the pipeline. Okay, you can click on the project since we're using a project-wide um, variable. So we can go to settings here, click on CD, expand the variable. All right, go to your cube config, edit that, okay, and then you can paste that here, save your changes, all right, and that's all you have to do. So you can go back to the CD, all right, go to shopping cart, and you can retry the pipeline again. So you can come here, build pipeline, and you can actually just, you know, go to the pipeline and retry the deploy job. So let's retry the deploy job and let's see if the little trick that we tried will work actually, all right? So while we're waiting for that, okay, so it's running already. So while we're waiting for that, we can also do the S port here and say keep config, all right? Basically to just switch back, okay, to the regular credential, okay? So did lab is say config, Okay, and then we can do kubectl get. If I do kubectl get ns, it should tell me it's forbidden. So that tells me that it's working. And then if I do get ports, I think n micro service, it should show me that, I mean, I have the product on the front end service working. So let's just wait. Um, I think this is still deploying, right? Oops, okay, it failed already. So let's see what the issue is. All right, so um, no such file. Okay, deployment.yaml. 
no such file all right so that's an issue there so let's verify let's see what the problem is so deployment.yaml okay so there's oh sorry we didn't do git hard all right so that's a mistake so let's go back to git um, so cd into shopping cart okay so git add first of all let's do git add so and then git commit okay kubernetes folder all right so let's do git push so now we shouldn't have um, any issue there so all the simple simple things are important for us to learn because without all this literally two you know things that we're facing and we're solving um, I mean, if everything is going on smoothly, you may not really learn that way. But when you encounter challenges, that is when you actually learn and you become better. All right. So the build job is completed. The deploy job is ongoing. So let's just wait for that. And let's see if this time around we have. All right. So that's a good one. So it's successful. So if I do kubectl, or I get ports, I think n. So the macro service is the namespace. Okay, so you can see here that this thing is giving us some kind of vibes that we would like. All right, so the shopping cart is working now. So that means if I go back here and I come here and I scroll up and I click on view, okay, so my application is up and running. So guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you so much for your time. And this will conclude the GitLab CI CD series. And then we're going to be starting Docker series um, maybe in a week or in two weeks time. All right, we're going to be talking about Docker, different things all right, about Docker, Docker Compose, Docker Services, Docker Network, and all of that. So stay tuned for that. And of course, the Git, uh, the DevOps free, uh, you know, zero to your series is still also running. So take your time, go through the videos. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop it in a comment. All right. I will see you all right on the next one. Thank you and bye for now.